What would you do if you could achieve any goal you wanted effortlessly? Well, I'm here to tell you that this is actually possible and that you can do this regardless of who you are spending one hour a week. In this video, I'll share with you the system that allowed me to get a perfect GPA in medical school or being a student leader, getting a scholarship and doing multiple extracurriculars. And I'll show you step-by-step -step how you can apply this to achieve literally any goal that you want. But first, there's a massive problem with the way that most people approach their goals that we need to understand in order to use this system. Once I coached a student who we'll call James, and in his last semester of uni, he didn't quite get the grades that he wanted, which meant that it would be a lot harder for him to transfer into law, which was his dream course. He knew he needed to get his grades up, so he set his mind to work hard and get super high marks in the next semester. This actually worked out perfectly for the first few weeks. He was working hard and he was actually getting ahead for once, but then disaster struck. He caught a cold, which meant that he couldn't work for a week, and that meant that an assignment caught up on him, and by the time he recovered, he had fallen behind on his coursework, and he had an assignment to cram. But the worst part was that by the end of this, James was demotivated and didn't have anything to show for his hard work. It felt like another semester was doomed to fail. The truth is though, James's plan was doomed to fail from the beginning, and it's something that I've seen hold so many students back. The problem was that his goal lacked intentionality. But what does that mean? Well, James knows what his goal is, but he hasn't put any thought into how he'll achieve this goal other than deciding to work hard. He's not being intentional about the path he's trying to take to reach his destination, and he's just hoping that working hard will get him there. This means that when his plans suddenly get derailed, he has no idea how he can get back on track, and his goals suddenly seem too far to reach. So what's the solution to this? Well, this is where my system comes in, and it's so simple, can be applied to any goal that you want, and takes only one hour a week. Let me explain. Imagine you wanna make progress in a video game. You can progress by playing more and more hours of the game, or you can make progress by leveling up your character so that you progress faster in the hours that you do play. This is almost exactly how achieving your goals works. Behind any goal is a set of skills that you can level up individually in order to achieve it faster. What I told James is that it's true that he might be able to achieve his goal by working harder, but it's also true that if he found out all of the skills he needed to achieve his goal, he could level them up and become the type of person who could achieve his goal effortlessly. But I know what you're thinking, how do you find out what skills you need to achieve your goals? Well, I promise that it's actually quite simple and it involves the process of reverse engineering. Think about someone who's able to achieve your goal effortlessly. It doesn't have to be a real person. Think about what they do on a day-to-day -day basis and write down all of the processes and skills that they engage in because theoretically, if you were able to copy all of those things and do them to the same level, you would be able to achieve that goal too. For example, if you wanted to get a perfect GPA, you might think about what time this person wakes up, how they manage procrastination, how they take notes in class, and how they revise material. The more you know about the skills that they have, the more you know what you need to work on in order to become the type of person that achieves their goals with ease. So now that you know how the system works, let me show you how you can apply it to completely change your life. Say for example, you want to get better grades and you've identified that revision is a skill you want to get better at. The first thing you should do is write out everything that you do in regards to revision at the moment. You want to write this in as much detail as you can, almost like an instruction manual that someone else could copy. Through this process, you'll realize what you are doing, but perhaps more importantly, what you aren't doing. There are two steps that follow from this point. First, you might realize that your revision process really just looks like rereading your notes the day before your exam, and you don't really know what good revision looks like. From here, the only real way to level up your skills would be to find out more about what effective revision looks like so that you know what skills you need to be aiming for. Once you know this, you can move on to the second step, which is bridging the gap between the skills you have currently and the skills that you need. You might learn that good revision involves practice testing and you can start to apply that to your life. These two steps will allow you to be intentional about how you're charting a course to achieve your goals, which will already put you ahead of 99% of people. But there's more because there's one final step that will allow you to stay on track regardless of any obstacles that come in your way. Once you've identified the changes that you need to make to level up your skills, it's important that you create a schedule for reflecting on whether these changes are working or not. After trying to do revision through practice testing for a week, you might realize that you struggled because you were procrastinating. This reveals a completely different 
different skill that realistically you need to work on before you can improve your revision. Even if you try as much as you want to schedule in blocks to revise, it doesn't matter if you just procrastinate in that time. Each week you should try and reflect on the change that you tried to implement and learn more and more about the skills and processes you need to engage in on a day-to-day -day basis. As time passes, you'll find that you start to guide yourself in the right direction and the changes that you'll make will start to stack on each other and your progress will become exponential. You'll also be able to look back and see the things that you used to struggle with and realize how far you've come. Any obstacles that come your way, you can reflect on what makes them difficult and adapt to those situations. This system will truly empower you to be able to achieve anything that you want. But the only thing that will stop you is not knowing what skills to work on first. So watch this video for a comprehensive guide on how you can learn more in less time.